Well, good afternoon. I'm glad everyone showed up today. Uh, we're here today to, uh, to, to talk about uh, the conclusion of the Razorback spring football season. I, I, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Thank you all for coming. Obviously, we have a, a, a big jobs announcement. Anytime we get uh, this many folks in the room to talk about economic development, uh, it's going to be something pretty exciting. And we have a lot of people to thank and go through and uh, recognize for who all is here and all their hard work and dedication. We'll get that. Um, but I say let's, uh, let's jump right into it. And I apologize. I'm supposed to go slow because we have interpreters here that we need to interpret everything I'm saying. So I'm going to try and slow down for a second. Good. All right. So we'll get back into that. And I want to introduce the, uh, the jobs governor of the state of Arkansas, Governor Hutchinson. Thank you, Mike, for your leadership and for your hard work on this initiative. And I want to express appreciation to the local leadership that are here, uh, the uh, uh, legislative delegation that's here that represents this area. Uh, we're proud of the partnership that we've had uh, both locally and with the state uh, to accomplish this uh, jobs announcement. And I was trying to put everything in perspective. And uh, from my memory and from my understanding, this is the largest jobs announcement in the Delta uh, in recent history. And you can probably go back, Reginald Murdoch and uh, uh, Senator Ingram and Representative Hollowell, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this uh, beats them all. And uh, I have wanted to welcome back to Arkansas Chairman Chu. Please give Chairman Chu a round of applause. <laughs> Chairman Chu, uh, I got to know as he is the CEO and chairman of Shandong Rui Technology uh, Group out of Shandong Province. And as everyone that's followed our economic development efforts, we've uh, been to Shandong Province uh, a number of times since I've been governor. We've called on people, and Chairman Chu uh, gave us the opportunity to meet with him at Rui, at their technology group uh, there in Shandong, and saw his incredible facility. We asked him to visit Arkansas, he did. And uh, as a result of it, uh, we're pleased to announce today that Rui Technology Group will be investing $410 million in Forest City, Arkansas. Rui Group will take over and purchase the old Sanyo manufacturing facility in Fort Smith that has been vacant for 10 years. Forest City, what did I say? Fort Smith. Fort Smith, in Forest City. <laughs> it's been vacant for 10 years. And Rui will establish the first cotton spinning operation that it has in North America. In addition to a $410 million investment in Forest City, it will employ up to 800 new jobs in Forest City. Now, it takes some time to get there, so you be patient. You've got to remodel a facility. You've got to uh, uh, do the hiring, do all the training. But uh, that is the objective, and uh, that is the goal over the phases of this project. What this means is Again, it's the largest investment and employment announcement in St. Francis County and in the Delta. Uh, it is uh, something that was going to have a tremendous impact on a county and on a region that has lagged behind uh, the national employment statistics. In St. Francis County, have a 4.8 percent unemployment rate, whereas statewide is 3.6 percent. Uh, and so this is not only great for Arkansas, but it's great for a region of the state that's going to give an economic boost to a region that much deserves it and has worked very hard for it. In addition to the direct employment uh, that this company will do in St. Francis County, uh, the Rui Technology Group will also be a purchaser of 200,000 tons of Arkansas cotton every year.
so this is exciting in many different ways, and as the chairman pointed out to me in our private meeting, that uh, there's a lot of indirect jobs that are associated with this as well. And so, Chairman uh, Chu, we're delighted to have you here. I'm excited about uh, signing this agreement with you, and I welcome you to Arkansas and to the podium. Uh, it's my great pleasure to be here, the beautiful city of Little Rock, and being greeted by everyone. Thank you, and nice to meet you. Uh, today, I also want to thank the Chair and his team and the leader of the Sanlin Sh. For our great support of the Sanlin Sh. and the close friendship. And uh, first of all, I would like to extend my heartfelt appreciation appreciation again to the Honorable Governor uh, and also to the team of the government at the state level and uh, the city level, county level for all the attention, the support, the resource and the care we received for this investment project. As a foreign company, we are very hard touched. Uh, uh, if I have to describe this complicated, significant investment project in one sentence, I should say this is uh, 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 remodeling of the traditional industry, spinning mill, however, why uh, the most modern technology to, uh, com in combination of the printing and the spinning technology and the most expensive and modern equipments to realize the dream to close the world through cotton. So, uh, 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 Apart from all the social, uh, positive social effects or uh, significance that can be vested in this investment, uh, the, on the economics uh, side of the project, it will involve a direct investment of uh, over $400 million. It will host direct employment of up to 800 positions, new jobs in the area, and also it will involve more uh, jobs indirectly through logistical and cotton supply, constructions, and also maybe education. Uh, and also, it directly involved 200,000 tons of uh, cotton consumption to feed our production facility. And it involved know-how sharing with uh, the most uh, advanced spinning technology and uh, garment-making technology in the combination of the whole integrated business line of uh, us as an internationalized fashion group. Uh, so uh, the Sanyao side is known to you as a local friends. Uh, so we try to get the quickest uh, production as possible. That's why we, as a first step, we will remodel uh, the existing facility for phase one. However, we do have the plan and the, all the works in place for a very soon phase two. That means new building on the site to host more labor. Uh,如意呢,山中如意是一个全球领先的一个,呃,时尚产业,呃,从沙县到服装的制造,是在中国,呃,四万五千家企业当中, uh, uh, you may not know us uh, enough already, but it takes time. We'll get 
get along yeah, by time. However, uh, as a very brief self-introduction, Shandong Ruyi Group is a fully integrated uh, textile corporation or fashion corporation in China. Now we are the number one, the largest by scale and performance among four, uh, 45,000 peer competitors in the same industry. Start, so our products start from cotton, yarn to the final finished products, and also uh, extended to retail shops. We have 在七个国家有我们自己的公司 收购了法国的一个三个时尚的品牌，也是有呃全球一千一百五十个商商店，呃，有五千名员工，所以我们如意也是一个国际化的企业。And uh, uh, we are trying to, we are still on the way uh, to grow into uh, multinational, uh, globalized uh, corporate group. Uh, so, uh, headquartered in China, started our first footprint in China. However, in the past seven, eight years, uh, we have already set up our presence and business in over 30 countries, with seven countries as the, uh, the, the most significant hosting countries for our hot assets. And also, uh, uh, back to five years ago, we, uh, through acquisition, we now own one of the largest uh, public listed company in uh, Japan, which own over 1,500 uh, retail stores for premium uh, business uh, sales brands. And also uh, four years ago, uh, we become the owner of the largest cotton base in the Southern Hemisphere uh, in Australia. Uh, the area is uh, the same size of Hong Kong, it occupies uh, 90,000 hectares of uh, cotton land, uh, which is the very permanent and sustainable base for the premium high quality of cotton to feed our uh, facilities. And last year, excitingly, we spent 1.5 billion US dollars uh, to uh, finish the acquisition of a luxury brand in Europe. So that's what we're doing now. Uh, women, uh 在阿肯社也感受到阿肯社的我们州长我们会把在阿肯色的项目高速度的介绍 So you may be wondering why such a Chinese company suddenly parachuting to Arkansas to Little Rock, what's the story? So it's hot. So through the first contact meeting sent by governor through your agency AEDC, Lindsay Liu on behalf of Little Rock, on behalf of Arkansas contact us for our interest of uh, investment in your great country and it, preferably in your great state. At that time, we have uh, not much knowledge about the state and the people. However, we are so impressed by the spirits delivered through each meeting with everyone we've been working together with, Governor. And our hearts are touched and we see uh, the right people, the right vision, similar value, and we are trying to make nice, beautiful things happen to support more people, maybe not even known to us. So we think we are doing the great things with the, just a great team. So that's why, without any hesitation, we are here. And also for your information, uh, our headquarters is based in Jining, Shandong province, which is exactly the hometown of Confucius, the, great, the greatest Chinese philosopher. So we've been educated 
uh, since birth by his philosophy to be caring, giving for a mutual growth spiritually. And on anything, if you want to make a success, you need to be a sharing, caring, loving people to be generous. Then you can't imagine what you can receive. That's exactly what's happening here. So through this economic uh, investment project, we just love to share the know-how, the technology we have to share the market opportunity, the business opportunity we can access together with you to create more better future together with more people. That's the, the vision we have. And we hope to have the blessing from you. Thank you. We hope, we, we are very ambitious to have a most modern and beautiful plant facility in Forest City. Of course, based on all the existence and help from everybody here, we hope to make that dream come true soon. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you honorable Governor, thank you again to everyone. Chairman Chu, Rui, welcome to Arkansas. We're so thrilled to have you here. Um, you can look out in this room and you can see by the attendance that uh, we now consider you family. And had we had enough time to, to drive over and do this uh, announcement in Forest City, the room would probably have been double the size, would double the number of people. But as I like to say, in economic development, it really is a team sport, and a lot of times it takes a lot of, long time for these to, uh, to come to fruition, and we're here today as a, as a result of a lot of hard work, obviously by the Rui team and their dedication to uh, building their first uh, North American facility uh, and doing that here in Arkansas. But uh, first of all, to, uh, to the team at AEDC who worked this project, uh, it started out with uh, Esperanza Masana, who was a project manager at the time, who began working on that, who is now our marketing director, uh, so still saw it through from that end. Uh, Drew Williams came in and, and picked up the project and ran with it from there and helped us uh, get it across the finish line. Uh, and as been as alluded to before, Lindsay Liu, who represents us in China. Uh, she was the one who first made the introduction, and we can't say enough about how well re uh, Lindsay represents the state of Arkansas uh, in China and looks for additional uh, investment opportunities for us. Uh, and then Mark Hammer, uh, who uh, heads up our Asian uh, uh, international team uh, as well, uh, and Danny Game standing over there in the corner. It's a product of this team that this project is here today, and I want to say thank you personally. And then, Chairman, you'll look out in the, the audience and you'll see multiple members of the Governor's Cabinet. We're also here to support you. You'll see multiple members of the State, uh, state Legislative Assembly. They're here to support you, and, and specifically uh, Senator Caldwell, Senator Ingram, Representative Murdoch, Representative Hollowell. Uh, these, are your, uh, these are your senators and your representatives now. You call on them and they're going to help you. Guarantee it. And Senator English, I saw you out there too. Thank you for being here as well. Uh, and then as far as the agency is concerned, you guys have got to know uh, the Department of Environmental Quality and Becky Keough and her team. And they were so instrumental in helping us get the Brownfield certification on the site. Uh, we'll continue to work with Becky and her team, uh, and they're here to support you as well. And then, of course, when I talk about economic development, we as a state, we recruit in the industry and we welcome to our state, but it's a local community that has the product. And product lies in a local community, and it's because of the city of Forest City, St. Francis County, and what they brought to the table and what they had to offer in their product and making that building available, making their team available. Uh, so thank you so much to Mayor Bryant, uh, to Judge Hughes, and then uh, Kay, where did you disappear to? 
So he's back there, Kay Brockwell, who is the local economic developer uh, uh, for Forest City in, in uh, St. Francis County. Uh, she helped hold the glue together to bring this project, but I can't say enough about the local support and what you guys put into the building in this facility. Uh, So again, thank you, Kay, Mayor, Judge. We appreciate you guys. This is a team effort, and you guys are an important part of the team. Uh, and I'd be remiss if I didn't point out Mike Malden there with Entergy. Uh, Entergy obviously is a big partner in us in making sure that they have the adequate energy supply to make this project happen. So Mike, thank you to you and your team. Becky, you and your team. Uh, we're excited about this announcement. Uh, this is a first step in the process. The, we have a lot of work to go and do, and they're going to retrofit the building. And as we mentioned in the, uh, uh, the meeting with the governor, we've always referred to it as the old Sanyo facility. It's now going to be known as the new Rui facility. So, Chairman, Governor, congratulations, and welcome to Arkansas. Thank you, Mike, a tremendous leader of a great team. Uh, and uh, we've worked hard in our trips to China. We'll continue to go back there, delighted with the relationship and the success that it's brought. With that, we're having turned over for questions. Are there, are there a minimum number of jobs you expect to be created from this project? And also, do you have an average salary you're expecting to, from these jobs? The uh, incentives is all based upon the number of jobs. Uh, this is over two phases. Uh, the first phase will be uh, over 400 jobs. The second uh, phase will add up to 800 jobs. And uh, those are direct uh, employment jobs. Uh, and you know the incentives, again, are, are based upon that. As the agreement provides, the state of Arkansas has provided cash incentives up to $4 million and payroll rebates of approximately $11 million to support the project. Uh, that is, uh, of course, subject to meeting the uh, projections on the employment. Mike, did you want to add to that? I think you covered that good. And we have um, little flash drives that have all the information that we were going to get from our media team, so you'll have all that information in front of you, too. What's, what's the timeline on the phases? That's, that's all in there, yeah, as well. Was there an average of salaries? Uh, I think we're starting at 1525 and then up from there. Governor, you uh, had in your last announcement with Tim one Gar. Uh, you had mentioned that you wanted to uh, look at the bill to possibly was looking at a company to come to the bill. So how important was it for you to bring jobs to the Well, when we had that conversation, uh, it was Rui that I had in mind. Uh, I knew that whenever we were negotiated and signed the agreement with Tianyang Garment Company uh, that's creating the uh, uh, jobs here in the sports apparel arena, in Little Rock that we were then negotiating and, and soliciting Rui to come to Forest City. But obviously it takes time, but that was, uh, this is what I consider the, uh, uh, the biggest trophy that we could bring in for the Delta, uh, for Forest City, and it could not have been done, as Mike said, without the local partnership and commitment. Uh, this has been a great team effort, and, and so this is something I've had in mind for uh, uh, over a year. Uh, and after I saw what they produce in China, this is beautiful apparel that they produce. Beautiful apparel that will even look greater with Arkansas cotton. I don't know that they will be able to gear up that quickly. Uh, I think we have to wait and see. They have to retrofit the building, make the investment. And uh, so unless somebody wants to add to that, I think we need to keep that flexible. Yeah, and that'll be negotiated out in the, in the details with, with Rui, but essentially they're all performance-based, so it's a, it's a matter of creating the jobs and making the investment, and then the incentives will be released. What has been the state of that Sanyo plant? I know a lot of governors kept, kept it running as far as, as long as they could. Uh, what has been the recent history of that? Has it shut down completely, doors closed, nothing happened? Yeah, it's been vacant for, what, K, 10 years? 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. So it's not a good thing. So, <laughs> we're glad to have someone in it. What are the specific local and county uh, incentives or uh, contributions? I think that's included in the, uh, the, the press briefing on the, that flash drive. 
uh, but they were they were instrumental in making it happen. I'll, I'll give them a lot of credit. They they pulled together their resources uh, to put in uh, funds. I think it came close to about a million dollars uh, in direct incentive from uh, from the local community uh, to make that happen. And uh, for a community like that, I, I can't say enough to, to Kay and the judge and the mayor for making that happen. Will there be any uh, kind of training uh, component with this? Uh, I know we've talked in the past about technical Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Training is, is part of the incentive agreement. When you look at the cash grant, that's training is one specifically that we can work on. And we're, again, you know, as we've committed to RUI, we're here to help them grow. We don't want to, if there's roadblocks in the way, if there's additional training needs, uh, we're going to make sure that that's going to happen. And I know Senator English will make sure that the legislature is supportive of any training needs that uh, happen for a company like this. Chairman, to what, what, uh, Stock exchange is your company publicly listed on? What stock exchange is it? Uh, permanent manager, Luna. We have two, currently, we only have two public listed companies. One is in China main board, the other is in Tokyo main board. <笑>他在问这个会不会我们买地种棉花了然后来给我们大厂呃因为美国的棉花的种植是非常现代化的我们没有这个计划我们就是想希望把棉花变成非常好的面料和服装说他说是 uh, uh, growing is very modern uh, Every business in America, we leave that to the professionals. Before more questions, let me add some points for information. One reason is because there is a very good climate, and the government's the 但是各项的优惠政策真的非常非常小的。我想这一点周长以及团队周长班主任是知道的。我们是因为这个项目在这儿有很好的一个自然的市场的规则,我们才来的。So uh, to make uh, our position clear, crystal clear, the major drivers for us to fly over here to make this significant investment uh, there are two basic or major reasons. One is based on our long-term research, we see Arkansas is a, a very important cotton resource, cotton growing region. So we don't need to worry about the supply of the raw material to feed our facility. We have no intention to grow it, but we are happy to buy it. The second point is the efficiency of the government. They, so that's the most important uh, intangible value uh, we can rely on. So that's the two basic uh, points. However, uh, incentive packages, different states, they have different versions. That's not the crucial point for us to make this big decision. I want to as any foreign investors, we get the opportunity to receive whatever uh, incentive available under your uh, legislation. We understand that. Uh, and also, we will maximize all the uh, benefits uh, to the training to benefit the local colleagues. Because the sales is <laughs> and also uh, some side information, uh, the annual uh, uh, revenue uh, for our Rui group is uh, 10 billion US dollars. So I believe we are financially capable to support <laughs> any training need yeah, to support our, our people, our colleagues. Yeah. Ah. You, you can support the state of Arkansas. Number one, we're, we're we competing with any other states in the Delta for this plant. And then number two, um, can you describe the possibility or what kind of ecosystem? You know, typically you have an ecosystem that grows up around a big employer like this. 
are, are there any indications of what we can see kind of growing up around this plant in Florida City? Uh, they, they did. They, they looked at multiple states, so it, it was competitive. No, no, I'm, I just wanted to jump in here. I okay. wanted to make sure I, I added that uh, uh, there is uh, the opportunity to expand in this arena. Uh, while we were in China, we met with the uh, Garment Manufacturing Association, uh, and they had a great interest in uh, expanding into the U.S. market. Uh, we've taken advantage of that, as you can see, in two opportunities with Tian Yong uh, Garment Company and now Rui. So uh, I wouldn't, uh, uh, that puts us uh, well known in China in the apparel and garment manufacturing arena. We'll see what that leads to in the future, but let's make this a success first. And I'm sorry, Mike, I interrupted no, no. you, but I was pretty excited <laughs> about that. <laughs> I think you covered it. <laughs> All right, with that, we'll be available for anything additional afterwards, but uh, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate everybody from Forest City being here and your support for this. Thank you.